Wake County schools releasing students two hours early today. Want to get a quick update with what is happening in Raleigh. CBS 17's Jamise Price live near Glenwood Avenue. And Jamise, I know we saw some flooding in that area earlier this morning. Looks like uh, quite a bit of water behind you right now. That's right, Bill. We've moved over here to uh, Wake Forest Road right at uh, Crabtree Creek. It's one of those areas known mm -hmm. to flood here in Raleigh. And just take a look at this uh, creek behind me here. You can see just right up under the bridge here, you can see some markings that show 20 and 15, indicating 20, 15 feet. And that last check, uh, the creek was about a, a little bit over 12 feet. And we know that flood stage here in this area is about 12 feet. And just take a look over. You can continue to see how this uh, creek is uh, rushing here and we've been here um, pretty much all morning and now into the afternoon and we're steadily seeing the creek continue to rise is something the folks who uh, work nearby are also monitoring as well and just taking a look too you can see where those uh, rocks are the creek is meeting the greenway here so the greenway is, the greenway is pretty much covered as well so a lot of folks just keeping a close eye on this creek as it is one of the known areas here in Raleigh to flood and of course we're going to keep a close eye on this as well. Live in Raleigh, Jimmy's Fry, CBS 17 News.